Mike Tyson is hands down one of the scariest men, if not the scariest man, to ever strap on a pair of gloves. And from his form today, he still looks pretty damn scary. But come on. The budding, pardon the pun, cannabis mogul is now 53. Are people seriously excited about watching a man of that vintage fight again? Why don't you retire? You're almost 50, you jealous, envy, sucker. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? If you're talking to Bernard Hopkins, one of the greatest boxers of all time, about fighting past your prime, then you should probably take a step back. It's disrespectful to even look at me and then look at yourself wherever age you are and then look at me and say that you put me in your category, you fool. I am different. I am not you. When he was just 50 years young, the executioner was still unquestionably one of the best boxers in competition. In fact, he was going 12 rounds with champions almost half his age. It was insane. I'm in a conversation separate from any fighter in the world. I'm separate from any fighter that box today in the world based on what I've been able to do at this stage in my career at a high level for so long. Bernard won his first middleweight world title when he was 30, his second when he was 36. By 37, he was the first boxer in any division to unify all four major titles, and he was defending all four when he was 40. Now, admittedly, 40 is still a long way off Tyson's 50 plus years, but there's still good news for Iron Mike if he pays attention. By the age of 46, Hopkins had moved up to light heavyweight and won the WBC title to become the oldest person to ever win a world championship. He might have lost the title the very next year, but instead of retiring, he went after the undefeated IBF champ Tavoris Cloud, a man 17 years younger than himself. History showed if you come unestim unestimating Bernard Hopkins, you can, you can fall to the faith of others. Age is not an enemy to me. Age might even be an ally for Hopkins because he beat Cloud by unanimous decision to break his own world record. And a year later, at the age of 49, he beat the WBA champ, Babut Shumanov, a man 19 years his junior, to break his own record again. And the doctor ran all kinds of tests, and he did all kinds of things, blood and stress tests, had me on a bike, had the thing in my mouth while I run, and he was looking at the air, he called four doctors in, they didn't believe it. I had to break the news to my wife, I had to tell everybody I'm an alien. Or... <laughs> so Bernard, who may or may not be an alien, could still compete with the very best the world had to offer at an age just four years younger than Tyson is today. But let's be serious, Mike. Eventually, old man time beats all comers. And it's like Bernard says. You're not Bernard. Bernard's a f***ing alien. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.